All those in favor? Opposed? Okay. Uh, members present? Mike Volpone? Data Brawl. All right, Mark's here. Review of the previous meeting's minutes. I brought them. I didn't remember seeing them, so. I didn't set them out? I don't remember seeing them. Yeah. The previous meeting was the 17th of July? Yeah, it was a while ago. I think you sent it out to, uh, send the email out, like, back in July. Way, way, way long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody all set? Uh, I have a motion to accept the meeting of the minutes as presented. Second. All right. Any discussion? So maybe if any edits, questions, concerns? Not hearing any. Uh, all those approved? The minutes? Yep. Yeah. Aye. Aye. All opposed? The minutes passed. Any correspondence? I'm not sure who's, who's got them. Which one do you two? I'm still doing bills. Okay. Because I'm the person that's still signing my bills. I'm just going to double check to make sure that's uh, is the new year. So you know, I don't think it's still for maturity purposes or if, if, we need to re, if that needs to be re signed every sure. year. Okay. But in, in the meantime, call my client. Well, this was. Yeah. This is what happened. Um, so there was an invoice from DiFilippo, who does the sprinkler system, and one from Mello. So last month, this one was paid, and then I just went and picked up a whole bunch of bills that weren't there last week. So we got another Gmail out for one thirty. This one had a forty dollar charge that we could. That I talked with the town, figure out. It was like, I didn't know that it was necessarily the recommended charge because they do multiple things. Okay. Well, there's a couple things. One is the byfield days were young when this was four. Did so you pick up in the byfield days or byfield arts? Um, if that was a partial payment, I don't know. Uh, that's the sort of inquiry I had uh, earlier. Uh, I don't know why there's an extra 40. Well, I brought it up to Um, and then the new bills that I just picked up, so that's another Gmello, another DiFilippo sprinkler systems, Rally Ready Mix, which is P Stone, that's six hundred and sixty dollars. Um, this must be all for the handicap ramp. Yeah. All this is for P Stone, nail steak and the paper tile. That's all being charged for us? Yeah. Awesome. And Yankee Pine Ledger Board. This wasn't all supposed to come out of the The RFP. Part of the RFP. Okay. So it's all okay. Hey, let's add more money to the equation. <laughs> well, I just, it's, we have no control. No, no, no. 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 We get 50000 Yeah, we're just. <laughs> 
bubbleheads. <laughs> So that's how this should yeah, budget. Last year's is done. Um, so that's this year. So the first budget of the year, so how much does that all go? Do you know the bills? I just picked it up. Um, we've got one for 130 95 so that's 200 roughly, 660 And 342 so those two together, 100 plus the 200 is 1400 and then 87 Okay, ten bucks. Yeah. Um, any questions on the bills? Uh, seeing anybody uh, make a motion to pay the bills? Do we have a second? Uh, any kind of is being charged to this committee rather than. We, I thought it was part of the original build out of the field house. Oh, okay. That was a separate, you know, building. So I guess there's some residual charges that are going to come down for that. That were part of the original plan. And is that something worth looking into, or is that. I don't think we have a choice. No. Okay. okay. We don't have, we've learned we don't really have a choice. It's, it's more of a rubber stamp to a point because a lot of these things have already been done. If we had the choice, we'd be sitting the board of selectmen saying, why are we paying for all these other fees and stuff, but... Um, I think it's more of a county thing, too, yeah. where... Um, That's tax or something. Yeah, they, they did, the building department, I got the building department, but the DPW, uh, they got to charge somebody. That was DPW that did that work. That's why those numbers came out. Mm -hmm. So the DPW, I think it's probably free labor. I don't know if they charge us for labor, but that's the stuff that they bought. Okay. And they did a yeah, great so job. Yeah, so it wasn't the contractor who did the building. Yeah, no, the DPW right. did, did a great job. They grabbed it, grabbed the material and did that. Um, all those in favor of paying the bills? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Pay the bills. Anything else correspondence wise? Bills are claimed to be the same thing. Getting any email? Did you get any email? Okay. Fee schedule, policy discussion. Based on the last meeting we had, we had moved to present to Board of Selectmen the hourly rate. Personal, sorry, thank you. Um, are we doing that first or are we doing the. Um, that's what it says, fee schedule. And field house policy. Kentucky Youth Flag Football, Basketball Court at Central Street, Capital Planning, signs along the walls of Central Street Fields, cancellation of fields and GPS refund discussion, correspondence with GPS and clinic discussion. That's what's on the, on the agenda for tonight. So I'm just starting to talk the way it's always sat that way, so we certainly can adjust it if we need to, but um, the last time we left it, it was we were shifting to an hourly rate. I'm aware that Marks wrote a book. Um, I, I'm open to listening to it because I'd like to get some. I have some questions on it because the one thing that doesn't make any sense because if it is, if it's legit, I probably would change my mind and go back to the other wages. Because Mark, when I was looking through your numbers, model number one on, I don't know what page it says. You should revise current new player, per player fees, youth and adult. Recreation in town teams is $35 a player, which it is currently now. Club or for profit is $70 a player. That is an increase of $20 per player with a limit of hours per season. So additional hours available for increase rate at $15 or $50 respectively. You're telling me that lacrosse is going to give us, is going to guarantee us 110 players per one season to 38.50, which is 35 times 110. Youth lacrosse, youth soccer is going to give us 100 players per season for the two seasons, so that would be $3,500 a season for a total of 7,000 a year. In GPS, it's going to give us 210 players per season per each 420 times the 70 is 29,400, which is a Generate revenue of forty thousand two fifty. This is all contingent on if the space is available, other teams can access the rate per rate based on a nine hour, nine hundred hour base. 
Am I missing something there? You could tell me you're, th these three groups are only going to use 900 hours, or did I read that wrong? The model is one concept. I can't guarantee how many people are going to use those pages. Using the numbers that were provided earlier, mm -hmm. uh, you created, I came up with an average number of players an average number of user uh, hours. Our GPS, GPS is 210, that's a given. That's the number of players. Because it doesn't change. Uh, yep. Um, I don't know how you got the, one, the 110 for the lacrosse because the two past years, they've done 105 and 100, 145 and 105, so the number on an average would be 125. So I'm kind of curious so, where that number came okay. from. I, I guess, Mike, I'm going to the bigger picture. Instead of looking at the very specific 100, I'm not saying that it's going to be these numbers in lacrosse, you can only have this number, soccer can only have this number. The idea is going back and looking at the per hour, or per person, here are our generals. We really didn't get num quality numbers to come up with our budget, or what, what we could do. This, this, this right here, and I'm going to go down a couple more pages. The estimated fiscal year 2019 budget, operating costs, I should say. Yes. One question is why am I doing a reoccurring $3,000 for a gate? What's the gate that costs three grand? That's the only question. Everything else now is matched okay, up. Well, look, look at improvements for FY19. Fence material on the gate. That's the total improvements for this year. Okay. So I'm looking at this year how much we anticipate spending. It's about 215, not including the handicap access. So again, some of this goes back to why we need to have a spending plan so we can project our numbers for the year and base accordingly. Well, unfortunately but, the town, and I'm saying this on camera, the town keeps sending us more bills as we just got hit for another 660 when we weren't budgeting for it. So it's kind of like... Well, Mike, Mike that's a separate issue mm -hmm. because a spending plan should have included that. We stopped working on a spending plan back in January or February. Oh, well, we didn't have to at the time either. Alright. Anyways, so the idea is looking at the different models of what other towns do mm -hmm. and projecting our possible numbers, realistic numbers of what's happening, knowing where the trends are in the different sports, both locally and nationally. I think these are reasonable numbers to say you can start with this as, as, a, uh, as a starting point if you were to go at model one at a per player. But we can't because I'm looking at numbers for youth soccer and the number keeps dropping dramatically each, each time. If they were trending or they were leveling off or there was any consistency between the seasons, I'd probably be more open to it. But not where their numbers are going down. The GPS again is set where they are, okay. and the average numbers that you have on lacrosse, 133 in one year and 112. I was mistaken before the other numbers I was looking up. Soccer, so lacrosse is 133 and 112. So 120. So I'm yeah, so we're in the ballpark, but um, it's the soccer numbers that I can't do anything with because it's just they, they don't match up. Again, you're looking at the nitty-gritty, because next year we don't know what it's going to be. It may be more, it may be less. We mm -hmm. don't know. The purpose of giving you the numbers here is to say, if, if we're to uh, accept this model or any of the models, here's a starting point. It could be wrong. It, it, it could have 10 kids. That's I why know. I wanted to know also, because then you, you, what is the, if you could explain the priority based on a 900-hour nine, base, what does that mean? your question again? In model one, yeah. if field space is available, other teams could access same rates. Prorated based on a 900 hour base. What does this 900 hours represent? I'm just trying to get an idea of what. One is so that one team has to come in and say they have five kids and mark up eight, all five fields every single day. That we would be able to say to them, lacrosse, soccer, GPS, you have 900 hours from April 1st to June. Set us, give us your schedule. Do you know what that works out to? 
room that might as well work out too. Roughly how many hours per week? For each team? I, I, I don't know. I, I took, I took, I took the, I, I looked at this because I wanted, I wanted to give it just to. On Mondays and, and on Saturdays and Sundays, you, they're there for 12 hours. That's seven to seven, eight to eight, depending what you want to look at. That's 60 hours because you have five fields. So that's 120 hours just in those two days alone. The other days are from 2.30 to 7, which is four and a half hours times five fields. That's 22 and a half hours. When you add it up, that's 233, 233 and a half hours a week. Times 11 weeks is 2,485 hours. If you're saying 900 hours a week, divided by 11, which is the number I use to keep it consistent, that works out to 81 hours. You're gonna tell me that GPS and youth soccer can make, do with 81 hours a week? Then we can talk. Because that opens up 100 and 52 hours, which is like a third of what they're using now. All these things are, I'm certainly willing to listen to because it certainly, you're telling me we can generate $40,000 from the numbers that you're based on a 900? I am extremely interested because that would certainly make things a lot easier. We don't have to change the model, the numbers are set up, but I can't guarantee the numbers of the players. So that 40,000 really doesn't count. The 900 hours gives us 81 hours a week, which still frees up 100 something we could use. We've still got that money off of, and we have all that. So I'm just trying to think just in that one model. Sorry, I apologize. I thought I turned that off. I'd love to know how, because the other models I'm going through, it's like, Model 2, I didn't even see it worth it. Model 3, actually the only one like that after that was Model 5. Similar to what's newbie flat rates for groups, charge each league 2,000 per season, non trading for 12,000, so it works out to about 30. So I mean, it's less than the other one, but it's a guarantee, but there's no hours based off, so we have no idea what they're using. So let me get this straight. I still think that there's no accountability no. for this. Rosters and there's no, there's no. We we don't have any control over the numbers that we get on what teams show up. That you know, someone may say we got 130 people playing. Do we know they have 130 people? And the only way they can do that, as we said, is to climb on top of the field house roof and count people. And so, I, I if disagree. we could be sure that numbers That's were solid then it would be a whole different situation. I guess, sir, my mind, two questions, just one statement, two questions. One is, in terms of the use of the field, as we stated in this document, we have a vehicle in which we asked, it's never been implemented, not by the current members of the rec committee, but the prior members of the rec committee, that Jason. if you're not gonna use the field, you need to let us know. And I know that soccer, lacrosse, and even GPS, they know what their, generally what their schedule is Monday through Friday, when their practices are. It's games on the weekends that are tougher for them to um, reschedule. So we can get some of that information about who's using what field. We have that now, right, Celine, so on, the, on the calendar? Well, no, because they block huge pop chunks. I don't well, know. They take the whole field. The two to three, they take every hour available. Okay, wait a second. Even if we went to a per hour, they can still take up the same chunk. Well, no, they well, could because what they, we do they, is we but block. But here they're paying for it as well. They're, they're, paying, well, they're, they're, they're paying for that time. They're, they're not paying this. what a competitive rate is in the area. I guess okay. So well, that's a second separate issue. What I am suggesting, okay, because there's multiple things going on here. Mike, to your question of the accountability and roster, you know, we're not going to know. I don't know how the other towns do it either. I don't know how Hampton went and looked at every roster. Some of it's a trust of looking at it. Like most of those, like that, what I talked to the guy there, he was saying that a lot of that stuff is just they're Hampton one of the kids. Yeah. And so they just, you know, they don't play. It, exactly. It's, if we know that the club team, which has a greater reach, 
is limiting at 210. We know that. Do we? We don't know that. We don't know anything. We have no way well, of well, knowing. Well, they could, they could have 40 know, people. They could have 300 people. I'm I don't just know. That we it's just, know. It, we go back to the situation a couple weeks ago. There was a group of people out there playing soccer. And they should have been, but they had them. Um, and it wasn't like it was like a bunch of people that just, some people had blue shirts on, some people had yellow shirts on, and they were playing a game. And there was a guy there. And no one says anything to us. So, okay, to that issue, I took the liberties of talking to a number of the different groups using it. One of it is former high school players who get together once a week. These were kids that were five, five seven years old. Okay. So that's the older group. On Wednesday, I think they do the pickup game. Every Wednesday, they come in. Just want to play the pickup game. Whoever shows up plays. Okay. I thought that's what the field was for. Yes, but that's not the representation. So the second group, I talked to the parents. And the parents said, let's get together. It's whatever night, Wednesday night, a parent coaches them. Sometimes we ask another person to, I don't use the coach, go over some drills. They're not playing league games. They're not having visiting teams come in. They're just playing. Why do they wear cleats? Because that's what kids wear. Why do they have jerseys? Well, the same reason why some of my lacrosse kids will, when we go behind Newberry Elementary, don't wear it. But, but we just went this whole thing about having a guy with a, with a uh, parachute or something fly around and we had a discussion for night and night and night about when you could do it and when you couldn't do it. You know what, I'm game for having people use the field. But when it seems like it's an organized event and if people are, we keep on talking about Triton Youth Soccer, Triton Youth Lacrosse and stuff like that. They're not Newberry. Like Newberry doesn't, the town of Newberry, no one in this, this building runs anything to do with that. It is a private group that has kids from Newberry, Salisbury, and Raleigh. Correct? Yeah. So I, I think there still should be some control on what goes on there. If you said to me that there are a bunch of kids from Newberry that want to go out and start a, you know, feel free. But when it starts to get to the point where it's an organized event that people are making money and money's changing hands, then I think that we should have some control. I, I, I agree with you with if Bonnie's involved. But if it's just parents getting together with kids, which that one group was, I, I don't see, I, I would not object to that. So the, the, the group, they, they, also, they also know that if there's things scheduled, they can get booted up. So the person who has the permit has the right to the field. That's the rule. So right now, there's a Triton flag football team practicing on the field. Is that? Is there? Yes. OK. Is that? That's what we heard about. Okay, so they've been there a few times that I've been over there. Um, but it, it's a parent, and he's got his team there, but yet it is part of Seacoast, Seacoast Youth Flag Football. So is that, it's part of Triton, so should they be able to use the fields, or is that what you're? They sh in theory, they should be paying for it. Yeah, and that's something you've talked to Seacoast about. Well, right? they never reached back out to us. Well, you, okay. so as far as we know, there's no application. They're there. But that was in like right? No, there's Seacoast came Seacoast earlier. Came oh, OK. They, part of it was they had like 410. So I guess what it is is that it's probably a new very parent who's a coach. So I'll just put my team over here where it's going to be. But they have no certificate of insurance. They are not quarried. So there's all kinds of reasons why they should be registered with us. So if it's a team that's paying to come together and play games, then they need to be approved to be able to use the field, as opposed to a group that's just there to practice, and it's not part of it. They're not paying to be part of that. Mental right, more of a pickup. They look, they look more organized. Games. than If they're part of an organized league in which they, tr they play home and away games, that's one thing. If it's just a, a group of parents bringing kids together, to well, would it would it be unreasonable? And I know I'm new to this, and you know maybe no, don't for that. So which one? Yeah, it's best to have a um, fresh voice. You know, a common calendar, and I know that we kind of talked about this. Yeah. But there was a common calendar on the website, and it was specific to who has the fields at what times. Um, there's a map of the fields, and and then you know normal people could go in and see. Well, there's you know, okay, this field is open every afternoon at this time, then they can, you know, reach out and say, hey, I've got a flag football team, can we use that field? We notice it's open every Tuesday from 4 to 5, 
can we use that field? That's one of the things that we've been, and I just haven't had a chance to look. We have to find our own software. I can, I can that. set it up okay. and. Well, you know, it's a thing. Well, what I was looking for was stuff that would accept, um, so like people could fill out the application and they could submit their queries and their stuff online. Okay. And reserve, and reserve the fields. But yes, but that just was the part. We're starting to go off track okay. here. Your, your point is taken. We we have a very simple model of that with yeah. the outlook that you have. Yeah, I and mean, we, basically the one I, I just created one because the one I got when I it was just yeah. a paper. And yeah. So, that's so then I just created one on Outlook to keep at home. But yes, the next step was to create an online version. It just it seems to make it. sense it, to it, start it simple does, but and this then is, talk about these models. Yeah. You're not wrong. Um, part of the problem becomes um, that whole process of how do you, what, at what point does that space get reserved? When they put the query in, when they, when they make the payment, so someone still has to go through our committee. You know, if some of us went through a little dance because we reserved a room, but this wasn't put in because we had to be scheduled, and also we didn't have rooms. So that, that's a whole process that needs to be done, and it will be done. But right now, we sort of undertook this, and are still working on it. Well, no, I, I see. I mean, it, it doesn't matter which way we go. I think putting an online calendar is well, we could put, would it be possible to upload your, um, the Outlook? I don't know that you can. Do upload to your Outlook? The IT department said they would help us out in any way possible. Okay. Now we just throw well, my cap, we should just start with the fresh one for um, mm -hmm. in the fall. And you said that there was another community that, that, that had something like yeah. that. We just have to yeah. find out who their, their, with their fender is. Dover, Sugar, Try Hamilton one, and there's a number of places that have it. Again, the problem is, what again, some of these are small communities that are, there's a lot of trust amongst the organizations so that they could sign up for it and a document may be missing, but they're going to sign up anyways. Um, and, that, and that, again, important word that I heard from a number of the other committees uh, is, is trust. We know Jim from, or Kevin from lacrosse, and he's not going to do that. So, but, yeah. but the, the point being is, we're going to work on the calendar. So, right. yeah. So, though. It still, it still puts us back in the situation is, the last thing we've agreed upon, which is what we're presenting, we agreed to present, we voted on to present to the board, was a per hour for the in-town and per hour for the out-of-town, or for the, how do you want to classify the out-of-town yeah. uh, groups. Okay. The reason why I even entertain, I brought this up is because I wasn't sure if you had talked to these guys and got numbers um, or whatever because someone tells me you're going to guarantee me 40250 fear, and I don't have to worry about weathers and all this and you're doing it on 900 hours. You got my attention. That would be very, uh, very interesting, and, and certainly something I, at least I personally, would work with. But Again, based I, on the, based on the numbers, it doesn't sound like it's okay. I, I, two different issues. One, the vote. My understanding was to continue with the conversation. No, the vote was to present, and I'm pretty I don't sure. Have it in front of me. Okay. It's in the minutes. It's somewhere. Okay. But I don't have it was three to one to. Yep. Proceed with taking the hourly rate to the board of select. Yep. Okay, I see. Jason, you're saying no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was only to continue the discussion of hourly, or is it just a drop the discussion completely? I don't know about that. It's all on video. I, I voted. I remember. Yeah, I voted. It, it's all on video, so it's easy. For That's us. Kind of okay, he that is a minute. Let's go on. You don't want model one. Let's cross it off. Model two, you said no. Model two, anybody? Uh, similar to Ipswich, Hamilton one and Beverly tiered systems based on percentage of players in the community. Youth recreation town. The problem we have here is, and the only reason I say this is, we're in Newbury, we're not Triton. Exactly. So Raleigh and Salisbury, if anybody comes in on those programs, do programs, I don't know how that, are you, do you have Raleigh and Salisbury kids in the, in the youth soccer, Triton youth soccer? 
We do. Okay, well, so, the but we're able, we're, we're able to differentiate between all yeah. three towns. In the spirit of Newbury being part of a trade community, I mean, that, to me, it's... There should be some kind of discount. It, yeah, it's, it doesn't matter if they're all from Newbury or from Newbury, Brownlee, and Salisbury. They should be part of it. So model two being no charge for residents, whether it's Newberry, Newberry, Raleigh, Salisbury. We no, still, I would, no, they, no. We'll I, eventually, I think we could get there. Right now, we can't get there. That's why I, we started with the lower. And again, if you look at number three, right. it says six six dollars for the users, and that would mean it's similar to uh, which town was it? Good. I don't remember. I didn't write it down, so I'm not going to. Six dollars for Triton players. Right. Okay. So everybody. And again, uh, this says it could gives you a general estimate of what it could be generated. And miles two and three. If we did one model, could be first year is a small increment. The next year it goes up a little bit, uh, and then finally a, a sustaining rate that. Again, a three-year agreement, or it can just be first year six dollars for um, the town team, town meeting, quotation, Salisbury, Raleigh, Newberry, or and club teams would be thirteen an hour, and you could generate anywhere between three and thousand. Any reason why you shifted from six to eight? Seven to six. Seven to six and fourteen to thirteen. Or? Because I'm looking at the numbers generated. Because it, just for track, it's a. I'm looking at the numbers right now. It is just under a thousand dollars by going by. Okay. Again, and that's why this other document is so important. What's our purpose here? Is our, our is our job? And again, uh, to. Well, here, here's the frustrating part. Okay. What, what most people. Because I, I think we've had this question and. We've answer. spent seven meetings. Six, seven meetings. That's why this. it's just frustrating. What is your okay. Right. What is right. This? That's not a question. Here, here's the issue. We are not a business. We're a municipality. Right. And we shouldn't be double taxing our citizens for services that we're rendering, which is the use of the field. This why, do they, why are you saying we're double taxing them? We shouldn't them? charge them at all for a fire. There you go. Well, we can't do that. We, because we're tasked to, to generate revenue for our, our funds to cover our if, if there was a If there was a Newberry View Stalker, they go free. If there was a Newberry youth lacrosse, they'd be free. And that's, that's the way I see it. But we're and, and I don't disagree with you, but our demographics cannot support that. There's only one team in, of all the sports that can handle it, and that's baseball. And baseball is even... They charge, right? No, no. Well, not for the fields. No, no, I'm saying... Well, they, well, they charge per player. They charge, charge per player. Yeah, no, but they don't... Uniforms. Yeah, because they just... And field maintenance. That's all incorporated in there. Yeah. They don't. They don't get any. They don't pay the town anything. Yeah. No, I know. no, they pay. They pay, the, they pay the, the league their fees. Yeah. Because the league, if, if the league belonged under us, then we would ask the league to pay us on that. So the money would kind of pass through them. But where they're right now, where they're managing the league, that's why the money goes to them. They handle. It, they care all the maintenance. They do all that. Who does maintenance? Got, they do it themselves. Yeah. Not last year. I know they're shifting away from it. They've been asking DPW to do it. If they ask the DPW to do it and they send us one bill, I'm going to be down at the well, baseball team and saying, you guys are going to have to start figuring that out. They, they do some of the maintenance. They don't cut the grass. They don't fertilize it. They line it. They prepare the field. But they don't line it. They fertilize it. The high school does behind the very elementary. I don't know who does that. They, that they may pick, send the bill yeah, back to them. Does the the elementary so. Uh, what you're saying is it possible? Is it a possibility that we are paying for? Because we get a we get a chunk of we get a charge of whatever it is, fourteen thousand dollars a year, for the town for the facilities up there. Are they? Are we paying for? Do you think well, we're paying for the volume? Well, the other market? piece is are we going after the wrong people to be paying this? Can we go after DPW? Can DPW be maintaining those fields as they do? And I think the other a, town again, fields? I think that's. I, I think it's an accounting thing, and I think that it's not going to change. The, the hard thing is when we came in here, 
and just for a little bit of history, when we came in, we were all new. Mm -hmm. And nothing had changed in the years. And after one year, all of a sudden, the town came back to us and said, this is now part of your fee. So when we think we have $50,000, yeah. you all of a sudden, you lose 13, 14 grand off the top. Then your other expenses, so now we're down. Really, I mean, just show it. Mark's got it on the, on the sheet, it's 24, see, we take the gate out of the equation, it's $21,000. So your 50 is now 29 mm -hmm. before you do anything. Last year we got hit with the RFP, so in essence that wiped it out completely. What our balance was for the year for 18. 19, I mean, granted it's only $600, but that's the first hit on it. And we already know we've got already expenditures for the year that have to be done. So once that's done, we're down to $27,000, $20,000, not knowing what else we have coming. Because it seems like all of a sudden, we, I mean, the roof got hit. I don't know if we've ever seen that, if that's part of the RP or what's going on with that. But it doesn't matter. It's yeah. still coming out of our budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can say it's part of the RP and it needs to be done because the only way we'll get a certificate of occupancy is with the roof. Right. But we still get hit for the price of that. So I don't think that's even right. It's not like we're trying to make money on being the Newberry Rec Committee. We just, we'd like to put a playground or start programs in the summer. Right. And do sorts of things, and so last year we got to a point that there was like a zero budget. We were we were in January of this year because our fiscal year runs from July to, to June, and by January we were out of money, so we couldn't. Mark's got phenomenal ideas to work with for the playgrounds and the library and yeah. all this stuff, and we no. want to do it. Yeah. Celine's had ideas to do things for at the field for family events. Love to do it. We have no money. We can't pay for these things until now. We have money, but we don't know. How long? Well, I think there was there's a few points that. Well, I know what your question is. Your question is, what is our mandate? I guess what what do we expect from the field? So, asking. Sir, what was the purpose? There's no no absolute requirement that we change it. There is no requirement. But when so we, how when, do we? I'm sorry. When the subcommittee went and looked at it, and we saw big disparities versus what other areas were doing. From my point of view, we're not in it to get every dollar out of the fields per hour that we possibly can. But I would like, do think our fees could become current. And if people were more um, tight on the numbers of the hours that they rent, then we could possibly have other, out, other people come in. Then hopefully we can have a little bit more um, money to help the youth sports, maybe decrease their fees or make them go away, or put in a playground, or run these youth programs. I mean, there is potential to make a little more money at those fields, not top dollar, no. but not what we're making now. Yeah. We could generate a little bit more money that would help, I mean, part of the reason why we can't get half our projects off the ground is because we don't have a part-time recreation person. We could do that. If we make enough income to hire somebody to work 15 hours a week as a recreation committee, they could run the family camp. Like they could run the, they could get a lot of this kick stuff kick started off the ground that we're so bogged down on because we don't, I mean, this is not our job. I mean, we talked so about that life, we is talked about where life down the beach. Are from. I mean, and it's going to be rocky. It's going to be a change, I, 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 and it may that. get ugly before it gets pretty. Nobody likes change. I mean, if, if but we were, I do if, think that there is the potential to make the fees current, button them up. There's a lot of loose details, and allow some other users to come in, and maybe we can make a little more money. It, it seems that my my opinion is that just. We, we were sort of tasked with it to find out one thing to have availability for town people, which is town people. I'm not talking about Triton Youth Soccer or Triton Youth Lacrosse. We're talking about town people. A bunch of kids saying, I want to go out and kick a football around or do something like that. And you guys say, oh, there's a ton of space. We're out there. We can, you know. But I'm not, as a, as a 15 year old kid, I'd walk out there and see all these people playing. And I don't know what field to but use. But you're not going to drive all the way from Old Town to Mansion Field. To find out if there's a field available. Yeah, it goes back but, to the scheduling. Yeah, yeah. Being able yeah. to just look online. So, so we have no control. So, so we can start by, at the very least, as a recreation committee, getting a schedule going, 
what boxing up some hours that are for the town. You know, a block, like we took those blackout dates. And then if we switch to the hourly rate, you know, we can do it one year at a time and see where it goes. And um, and then and see if we do get filler people like the ultimate frisbee or whatever. And then then see what kind of things we generate over two or three years. And then see what we want to do. We want to give a discount to the youth teams. Do we want to build a playground? Do we want to hire somebody? I mean, there's a lot of opportunities. So, yeah, if we can make a little more money, what's wrong with that? I don't mean charging our own Newberry residents, but I do think that it's a, if there's potential there. I don't see much like that. I take an exception to looking at other places and saying, they're doing this. Therefore, we need to change up. <laughs> that's not the point. So that, is not, that is not the point at all. Please, please let me finish. Please let me finish. Okay. Because I don't know, I don't look at one data point. I don't either. Okay. I look at a number of data points. I do know, please let me finish. I do know that our costs have actually gone down where every other town has gone up. Our costs for maintaining the fields have gone down around $40,000 down to, what is it, Twenty-four. That's one field. That's our field. That's what we're responsible for. As of right now, you're right. Okay. So if you if you look at we want to stay current, well, maybe our fees were too high to begin with, and they should be coming down. So you know what? But but going back to the reason why we had fifty thousand dollars and why that number came up is because the rec committee, when it started, the primary task was to get the field built and get people on them and get the field house done. The Valdentar Committee, the $50,000 was an appropriation that was given because that was the approximate cost to maintain the fields and have some in reserve in case there were major protections. They wouldn't have to go back to the town. And the money that wasn't used because it's in a fund would sit in a separate account that we would have access to by going through the town. So that $50,000 is sort of there for a reason and not just $50,000. We shouldn't, again, going back to good accounting and state stuff, municipalities can establish fees as long as they have a meet three front three prong test. They meet charge that benefits the paying party, which we do. The fees must be by choice, which we do. And, they, and to compensate the government entity for its expenses in providing the service. So to take care of the field, here's our cost at 24, 25. That should be what our number should be. That we don't do anything else. Any kind of a program. Yeah. Well, I'm going I'm to say this quickly. Two reasons. The accountability is a big thing because every hour is booked. Every hour, every season is booked. It, it, uh, no, now, now, now it's my turn. Every hour is booked. So I'm sorry. That's the accountability piece. We want to know what's, what's set up for. But the big thing is. If we have fifty thousand dollars, not just for that field, which is what all has been tied to, baseball doesn't I mean the whole idea. When we first started talking about this. What Alicia brought us together for was to bring this all together and to build from it, not to stick it to any one group. I'm not looking at soccer. I'm not I mean, looking across or GPS if they were here to say you're the bank. We want to find a way to develop this field, be accountable for what we're responsible for, and to start building other things. The playground has been an idea we've thrown. The basketball court we've thrown out. The theater in the, in the, in the park we've, we've looked at. Uh, camping, the movie night thing there. All these things. That's what this $50,000 is to broaden the program. I mean, everybody I keep talking to says, I want to bring things back to summer schools and having the, the playground program and stuff. That requires money for kids to run it, um, even basic stuff, and then equipment. Well, it's coming out of our budget. That's what the fifty thousand is for. Okay, I, I like the idea behind the school. Um, I did a proposal similar to library, and it was all fee based, so we had the money for it. But anyways, you talk about the accountability. There is a, and again, this is the end of it. And, and tonight, I'd like us to vote on something. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a proposal. We'll just be done with it. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay. Well, because because the accountability the accountability issue what? is in the application. 
We, we didn't do our job. The prior uh, other members of the community hadn't done their job by saying, hey, lacrosse, if you're not using the fields on Friday afternoon, you've got to let us know. Okay, and then those fields are opened so, up. The problem with that is that they can reserve as much as they want still, and by the time they release them, it's too late to allow another user to come in. And I think that for the most part, you have a pretty good idea, with, with an error of, you know, percentage of error, margin of yeah. error, whatever, um, when most practices are and when most games are. They typically, they don't fluctuate by huge time frames. They, you know, they can make a very pretty good guesstimate. Yeah. When you're talking to your coaches, they have a pretty good idea of when they're going to want to run their practices. So, I mean, Agreed. can we realistically walk away today thinking, if I, if I can, I mean, I don't know if I'm getting over my head, but if I can take on this calendar piece and reach out to the different teams and find out hourly what they're using, and no, I've already said it. You're yes. applications. Oh, no, 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 but time. Oh. So I can set it up on a calendar, and then we can work. I, I mean, I've already, I've already got a per-day basis exactly what they're signing up for on the calendar. With, well, on their application, they give a per-day breakout of, I want for these hours, these fields, so we know exactly Have what they're looking for. Have you seen an application? No. Okay. That would be best. I apologize. Okay. Uh, this is, I'm know. just using lacrosse. No, they think it's kind of lost on the Actually, I'm using soccer because it's easy. Yeah. It's got more it's Monday through season. Friday. This is what okay. we got. These are the last two, well, the last four seasons, the last two years, fall and spring. So that's what I put in my calendar. Okay. So is it all right if I reached out to these people and thought realistic? Okay, okay. I thought realistic. Can I, can, yes. Can I kind of follow up on this? Oh. And I'll bring up. Uh, Mariah. So okay. can you come up? Can you come up for the camera? Say yeah. your name. I know you've done this a number of times, nope. but so this. So just and Jim will probably agree with me. The um, those applications are due. What's the date on that application? The last through the last page. Three one seventeen. Three no. Three. Look, it's, it's like May something. I think it's one last page. 8117 on the page. Keep going. One more. 5-8 of 2018. Okay, so, so May 8th. May 8th. Okay. Our registration for our team for soccer closes, I think this year it was like June 20th. We submitted that in before our registrations closed. We didn't know how many teams there were. We didn't know how many, who were going to, who was going to coach. So we didn't know exactly what our practice days were because we have volunteer parent coaches that have full-time jobs. We work around their schedules. So the easiest way, that is to say, what fields do you guys anticipate using? Our fields really hasn't changed. So we go through and we Yeah, say, I mean, yeah. you, GPS, you, yeah, um, you, you guys take your hours in the fall and you split it in the, in the spring with lacrosse. But it's every hour. Am I off? Let me. So, if I have certain hours that my coaches are coaching, at what point in time are you requesting for those specific hours? And we discussed at the last meeting. I said if we did this in a two-tiered system, is it you grab what you want in the beginning, and then you had then you gave gave us two months, six weeks before the season started, and said I only need these hours. Then great. Yeah. Exactly. I think, well, I think no. part of the and problem I was, is, and I, was, is that, and I was explaining the timeline, but you guys keep saying on here, these applications, look, they're covering all hours. Not one point did you guys, have you said any point in time, here's the application, but the here's three, the follow-up application. Look at the last three years that I have. From, no, the, from, from the town, nothing's ever been updated. They're the exact yeah. same three. They've been one application, never changed, never altered. All the hours, book solid. Yes. There's never been a follow-up application that I've received with modified hours. Has it been ever asked? So you're going to tell me right here, if I go back to you, I'm going to borrow this a second. No, so I'm just in the, in, the in the fall of last year, you guys we, said you had 75 well, we people. We we were supposed to ask. You were no, only, you were only billed listen. for 2600 bucks. Are you going to tell me that you didn't have more than, you had more than 75 people and you're going to give me more money back? Because technically that's what you just said. 
So now moving forward, what can did I just say? Second. You're saying that's what you that's what you had in the beginning. That wasn't the that was the final number. Concrete. Yes. So you have more yeah. or less than seventy five. This was fall of last year. Think of that. Ninety one was fall of last year. Yep. You had more than ninety one people. No, we probably had ninety one people. So you're saying right now you're going to be a seventy five. You're going to be higher. What is it right now? As of May May eighth. Yep. It shows seventy five people. Now look at August. Oh, That's the page before. before. You have the August right there? No, I just went. Through. It's the page before. No, it's not. No, we never got it. It's I made up of town. I'll show you exactly. That's 3 1 of 217, 8 1 of 217, 8 1 of 217, 221 of 18, 5 8 of 2018, 5 of 2018, 5 of 2018. I've made yeah. different copies, but they're all those. So the your on. treasurer has not provided you with the most updated because we could not. Our numbers are low in the past because we split our program between Byfield and Pine Grove. But and then in so August, can and then in August, and then in August, we provided that supplemental application with the additional yeah. amount, with the insurance, with all of the, um, with the insurance, with the supplemental check. We're paying close to like seven thousand dollars this season. If you say that you're playing Pine Grove. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you just exclusively play at Pine Grove? So, like, let's say you had a team. I don't know why, because I don't know those uh, soccer teams. But let's say it's uh, Youth 55B. Do they just exclusively play in, in Raleigh, or do they play a little Raleigh and a little bit of our place? Intramural, intramural is all at Raleigh, and U12. Some of our U12 teams are only at Raleigh. We have to split them because otherwise we'd have no, to really. play it. So. We do not share fields. Well, because I'm going to try to do soccer, and the U third, fourth graders will play at five because it's a half size field. The intermediate field for the fourth, fifth year graders is only at Pine Grove, was only at Pine Grove. So when I heard something from a resident in town that their kids practice and rally but played all their games, at the field up here, that was, they were mistaken. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm not going to get any names or anything, but that's, yep. that's what I was told. So that's that's where accountability becomes a problem, because we don't know. We don't know. And if we knew, then it would be a whole different situation. How, how, I guess if that's the question, how do we make it better? How do we have Forget the rosters. <laughs> exactly. You know, I don't care how we play. I think care less if you had... 250 or four. Yeah. Okay. Whatever the hours are, you guys want. That's what you tell us, and that's what we bill you for. Yeah. Beginning of the season, whatever you guys want, the day of, that's what you, you get. It, it makes it easy. So We're accountable well, to the town for what it is, and you guys know what you're getting paid. Ace, just so you guys know, and I mentioned this during the last meeting, time off. May first, we send in the application. Mm -hmm. We don't. We know what fields we'll be using because we paint the fields accordingly. Yep. We don't know when the coaches are going to be coaching. We don't know the game schedules. Um, we submitted that in in May. Registrations closed the end of June. Okay, so you should have. Me we walk file out. it in July um, with Matthew Soccer. Mm -hmm. We got the insurance. Um, August 14th, our coaches meet, so we assign all the teams, we determine our coaches, the coaches are supposed to let my coaching director know what days are practicing, and that's usually, this year was around August 14th is when we nailed everything down. We did not hit the field until roughly August 27th is when I told them that they could step on the field. The final application, uh, the game schedule for Essex County was released August 27th, which yep. was a Monday. Yep. Up to this point right now, I can definitively tell you, here's all my coaches' times, because I was the one that scheduled what fields they are playing on, as well as I know all the games. So I can, I can come 
I, if you guys are really pushing, you know, I, I, I can give you that list to update that application, but in the past it's never been asked. I know, because that was the old regime, the way things were done, and we're trying to change that. But I want to ask one question. You just said you got an updated number, and you paid how much this past year, did you say, you guys have written the check for? It's probably around 7000 just to give you an idea, if we use the seven dollar an hour, sixty eight sixty would have been what you paid for this year, and you wouldn't have had to worry about one thing, which is what we've been trying to say all along. It kind of plays on our part. You're not worrying about anything else, and you would have been right where you are. So, but I also have thirteen teams at Manta Field for this season. In the past, we haven't had thirteen. But I'm just saying and the numbers. Some of our numbers on our teams are much greater per each team. We have an 11 v 11 that has 23 kids. Okay, well, I'm just telling you. With the current schedule, the hours that you requested on an application, which is the same format that's been used in previous years, we haven't changed that. That's the one that's sitting here. You asked for 70 hours a week or 980 hours for 14 weeks, is what was on the calendar, which is on the application. If I had done that times seven dollars an hour, that's sixty-eight sixty. If you want, if that doesn't change, other than the number of people that are added to it, that's the difference. Nothing else has changed. If you're saying you just say you gave us around seven grand, I'm showing the same number. What we said from the very beginning was all we're trying to do is we're the ones trying to be accountable for the for the schedule. I'm trying to make money. We're not trying to make money. If I had, if I had gone to ten, or, or if I had gone to five, it would have been forty-nine hundred. Or if I had gone to ten, it would have been ninety-eight hundred. But we split the middle because to make we're looking at as far as the youth are concerned. No. I mean, uh, to be honest, to be honest here, this this right here shows you. I'm just showing here that Mark was even being sticking it not to for a better flat for a better phrase was hitting GPS harder than we were because based on our numbers at twenty dollars an hour. They would have paid twenty-two thousand four hundred. No, I just said that. My apologies. Mark would have been fourteen two. I said if, I, if we had gone to the fifteen, it would have been sixteen eight, based on the number. So one thing I will say that when we did the field house policy handbook last year, mm -hmm. we did not take into account the user's schedule, which that is something that could be modified. And his, his feedback is perfect. That's a, a great reason behind it. To go back to say we need to look at it again because we but should. But I do feel also that there has to be kind of a compromise that we don't find out on August 25th, the day before you use it, exactly what hours that you need. There needs to, like I think we can push our timeline so it's not as aggressive for you at the beginning, but then the the number of hours you need, you know, I think can be. If we get you on July 16th, and I'm just splitting six weeks back, is that going to really screw things up? Because you have to give us some time if someone else come in. We have to say, we'll know by July 16th, final roster that day. Whatever we have for hours, we'll go with. If I had said, then I'm only using it six weeks. If I had gone six weeks back, would that make things very difficult for you with scheduling and leagues and your numbers? And stuff? Are you talking about the hours being used? The hours, whatever you're going to do, whatever you do. If I told you that I need your final roster, everything's all set for numbers and everything by July 16th. Would that have been a big issue? Are you saying just final rosters, or are you talking the hours? Oh, hours. Because that's what that's all we're really looking then, at. Then I don't care about the, the rosters. Then the answer would be, I should have a good understanding in regards to the number of teams. Problem is that I won't know my game schedule. Yeah. Okay. It's out of my control. But again, that puts us in a situation where, as Lynn just said, you're, you found on August 25th. That does us no good because that doesn't give anybody else an opportunity. So if you if you back back out hours, okay, let's tell you probably. But remember, this season, this season, I did not get an email from Tim Southall until August. Who's that? Tim Southall's the Rally Rock okay. committee. He's the person that gave me thumbs up or thumbs down on Pine Grove. Pine Grove is actually able to be used. I can move my teams back to Pine Grove, but I just drew the line and said, let's all go to Mantle. That's the reason why you have the spike in my numbers. I mentioned that early on. Spike, spike as in dropping? Or? No, it's increased. Uh, I've got 75 no, people. The new, new sheet's got to be. 163. 
Okay, I haven't seen it. You're telling me it's 163? The, the treasurer had emailed all of you guys my full packet when it was she submitted. She didn't email us the roster number. It was just the uh, Corey, uh, the Corey the insurance. That's 5700 bucks right there, 163 times 35. So, at any rate, going forward, because we want to go forward. Yes. So you're yeah. talking about her plan? No. I'm talking to Brown. Okay. When you do. said 167, I thought that was the amount of players. That's what you said. He was right, saying that. Right, but you did times 35. Yes, it's 57. Okay. Which is more than thousand dollars less than what I have here. It's seven dollars an hour. I guess the bottom line is, um, it's a lot easier to do what has been done before. Just of course let them Change do, is never easy. Let them do whatever they want to do, and then they shake in our. X amount of dollars as we've been doing for years, but I thought the idea was for us to look at this model and find out if, again, you're saying we don't have to be like other communities, and we're not, because if we were like other communities, our rates would be a lot higher than what they are. If well, our our suggestion that make a higher. No, 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 no. no. Well, we don't want to. We don't we, want to. But what I'm saying, what we're suggesting is, um, I think the thing is that you can find an example for. Any kind of exactly. scenario yeah. to find to what? figure out whatever your argument is. What works for our town is the only parameter that we need to worry about. Yeah. Right. Not not what started this conversation. We looked at what other towns and we're we see what works go. for our town. And we, we could actually go zero, and if GPS stayed at a certain rate, we could have the Triton Newberry, uh, Triton's backslash Newberry teams play for free. But then, do you think that there'd be certain residents in town? that don't have kids in Trite Youth Sports that would be calling up and saying, well, we're paying tax dollars to have um, the fields maintained for people from Raleigh and from Salisbury. I mean, there's going to be that, too. So, yeah, so, so we got to balance that. And some of it is, if you don't want Newberry residents to pay, let's not do it. But that brings up the problem that we just got rid of, the roster. So we, we look at it holistically saying Triton, because we because Newberry cannot support a lacrosse team for the league. They might be able to do one U11 team with eight kids. That's about it. We need to have the other teams. And a lot of the other programs merge for a simple reason is numbers and get these kids starting to play together at a younger age. So that they're not getting in, into middle school and now their first first look at a lacrosse player from Salisbury. What does that have to do with it? It, well, because it went back to if you want, you want to worry, not worry about the roster, then we cannot worry about. And Dave was making a good point. Res, some residents may complain that as a taxpayer, Raleigh kids are using it at the same rate. Okay, and that's something you have. To, just like right now, our kids pay thirty-five bucks, just like the Raleigh kids. And we sort of the rec committee sort of adopted. Look, if we're looking at this as a community, a large community that just knew Barry. If you want to go and not charge kids from, uh, families from uh, Newberry, that's fine. We're going to have the roster problem that we're trying to get rid of, but that's... But then the other question that comes up, it's Triton Youth something or other, and it's a nonprofit, and it's an organization that's being paid, money's being paid from the Triton kids into this group, money's being paid from Rally kids into this group, so there's there's money being transferred yeah. into, you know, the typical situation is they, they found in Beverly was that there was a group out there that said we're a nonprofit and they were a flag football nonprofit. And so they got involved and they had this field meeting. The rec department, uh, the head there, he's like, they're not. They're, they're a for profit organization. And he knew it, but they were going under this, well, we're, we're a nonprofit. If they trying. file an online profit, I've said this before, a nonprofit is a tax status only. They can raise as much money as they want. The one thing about being a nonprofit is you have to report to the AG's office, you report to the Secretary of State's office, you have to file with the IRS accordingly. The IRS taxes can be viewed by the public. And I've said this before, the NFL until two summers ago was a nonprofit where they paid their executive director $40 million a year. MGH, nonprofit. So, realistically, if you were to change and go to one of these other methods, that wouldn't happen, obviously, for the fall. 
No. And it would probably not even happen for the spring. It would be next fall. So before we leave today's meeting, is there something that we can generate, you know, at least coming up with a calendar um, to start there, to see how that works? And then fundraising, is there any possibility of fundraising? Can we reach out to companies to have them put in a basketball court? Is there a local, um, uh, for example, jo Johnson Paving, would they be willing to? We've, we've, we went through a whole different scenario there. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's, it's like yeah. questions. Um, we have 10,000, we figured 10,000. Yes, I know yeah. you had said that. Yeah. But what about reaching out? Is there, you know, would Johnson Paving donate? There's, there's, there's issues with one, the DPW, um, the town. Uh, it turned out to be a lot harder than what we thought because we were thinking the same thing. Um, so there's all different models about doing that. And um, one of the things which uh, I talked to the town manager, and she said that um, you know if we come up with a an idea of how much the court could cost. Let's say it's seventy grand. I know yeah, this is this six, is sixty is the number. Fifty high fifties, little sixty. Yeah. Okay. So let's say it's seventy. We yeah. just said seventy thousand dollars, and we went in front of I think it's the uh, the planning board yeah. or the few, one of the boards capital and planning. The capital planning, and said you know this is what we need it for blah 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 blah. It could end up going through the process and making it on to next April's maybe um, yes. town, and so the town would vote and say, "Hey, let's appropriate X amount of dollars to put up." So we can go that path. There's, there's ways. I think the problem with that is that there's so many things we want to do. First of all, we we are somewhat accountable of coming up with monies to approach that fifty thousand dollars. If we, we don't, don't make that, back. then our budget goes down. Yeah. 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 So we do have to make some money yeah. at the field. There's so many things we want to do. I mean, we don't have to fundraise again. Right. Keep going. It's always the same people that donate. The same right. People asking. But looking at Newberry, how they built the playground at the school, right. and that was purely fundraising, um, and it was community built. I mean, is it possible to do? To I look? Do you think? I mean, with what are the what are the playground costs roughly? Do I don't know. Hundred forty thousand. How much? Hundred forty thousand. <laughs> are you serious? Sorry, I laughed. But it was I didn't think it was that much. Uh, the materials, a lot of the materials, the wood and stuff was donated uh, by a local company, and I think they hired a company that designed it and sent two people to supervise volunteers for the yeah. I think it I think it was like that. That yeah. was that. That and was not installed. Ah. Well, for most of the time, it donated. The product was donated. I'm like, it's all. It sounds like it's all labor. When I was a kid, we had a, sling, uh, a swing set and a slide, and we were well, happy. They, you had to purchase all the equipment yeah. from the company, but then the lumber for. Uh, I gotta check this out because I mean, my kids all grew up there, so it's kind of like seeing them, and I'm like, I gotta see this before this thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I, yeah. I, I mean, my my my, go in another direction. my my stance all, all along with this has been accountability and trying to be fair. Number wise, we have other people that are interested in music fields. Mm -hmm. We've had ultimate just competitions. That we turn people fields. away because there's no hours. And so, well, can we start? I mean, because we're not, it doesn't seem like we're going to get past. We're going to have, we're, no, we're going to have to make a decision. It may not be this, but the last, and I wish I could get access because I'd like to, like to see. I thought we had made a decision I and voted on the last one. But I'll give you a run to I voted on I voted on yeah. something. Okay, looking at the time, I know we're not going to get through uh, cause this. Because I'm, I'm done at 7.30 because yeah, I have another meeting to go to as well. Okay. All right, so we'll table this to the next meeting, and whoever wants to review it, review it, because if I find out we voted on, that's the way we're proceeding. If not, we'll be voting at the next meeting. Um, the fee policy, I ask everybody to take a look at the Town of Blueberry Recreation Committee Cost Recovery Policy and Fee Proposal which is guidelines if we're going to be doing charging fees for something. Uh, General accounting standards asks that we should have guidelines. Does that make sense? That we're not just throwing, and I know that. Are you on this one? Uh, this one, one page, I think. There's a two page, oh, one one. One. it's the first page of the second document. Okay. There's another separate document. Can we just go through that? And 
and make any changes and, and so did you you created this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I didn't realize that was. Correct. Right. There's recreational opportunities that are important. Okay. 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 Okay.
services by the Well, what do we want to ask? Increase accountability between fields and fees charged. Okay. Am I correct in this statement? Yeah. Okay. Next, balance the desire to free an open space with sufficient funds to operate and maintain the field house and playing fields. For free or? Balance the, balance of the desire to free an open space with sufficient funds to operate and maintain the field house and playing fields. Verbs balance the desire to maintain free and open space. I'm, I'm trying to remove the whatever, whatever we have to worry about. That, if, if it is, let us know and we'll fix it. I don't know what it means. Or is it for free? You know? For free. You know? Instead of two, balance the desire for free and open space with sufficient funds to operate and maintain the field house and playing fields. I have no idea what that means. I defer. I like the four. It makes Ford creates possession. Okay, Ford. Provide youth sports programs with adequate field time to ensure a meaningful experience. I don't think that's our responsibility. Yeah, that's, 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 that's responsibility. No, no, the, the question is um, Triton Brick Throws, we're only going to give you two hours. That's their choice. That's what they come to. Uh, I'm not gonna. Okay. I think I mean, that's my okay. opinion. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that they they don't deserve it. That's not what I'm saying. I, I would it's say just here. Not our responsibility as a recreational committee. Provide to programs with adequate field time to ensure a meaningful experience. Take the youth sports out of it. We're providing a service of an adequate it's field time. It's not just for them. It's yes, it's for anybody. So take the youth sports out. So it's provide programs with ad adequate field time to ensure a meaningful experience. The next, provide the citizens of Newbury and their guests high quality playing fields and and a or and a field house for their enjoyment at a subsidized rate. I don't think we've discussed that yet. I think yeah. that that's a question that we still we're still talking about. Okay. Reasonable rate then? Well, we're still we're still deciding whether or not Triton um, I mean, was not a discussion that we were having earlier. Or rather, says the newbie and their guess. So it's almost like Rollins and Salisbury have the guess in this equation. Yeah, I, I don't like that line. It kind of just it's too ambiguous. We certainly want to provide the residents, but it's kind of like we got to. Find a way to tighten that up. And the last one where I have this, because it's yellow on my papers, is every three years the Recreation Committee will establish a council that will review the current policies and fee schedules to determine if recommendations should be forwarded to the Board of Selectmen are necessary. Yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm striking that one unless someone's got to. Well, I put this in based on. You know, your input, Mike, of in, the, in all the years that people go back, there was never a review, and that, was, that is why we're at the problem we are. Now, most policies for policies, you have a set, whatever year, number of years you want to review it. So it doesn't go five years, 10 years, 15 years, and it's not reviewed. Three years is. I would say the Recreation Committee will, will continue to monitor the. Progress are the. I'm uh, part of the terminology. Covered but, in one, two, and three. But we have to maintain it and monitor as we're going along to see if we're still. The effectiveness. Huh? The effectiveness. Yeah. So you change it. Well, we I want to make sure we're, we're, we're continuing. We're, we're not. All of a sudden, what happens if the floor falls out and we're way up here and we should adjust our numbers down? We can convert them the other way. So balance the desire for free and open space with sufficient funds. Yeah. So, with sufficient funds to operate, I mean, that's that's what you're saying the job of this committee is. But we're also going back and just trying to find a way to... Oh, you're saying that there should be an additional council that does... No, I'm not saying there should be a council. It's something, no, that we should be, be something we should be monitoring on, a, on an annual basis to make sure. What we do with the fee, actual, the number of the process, 
that's going to be set up differently. We have already discussed in previous meetings that we would probably maintain the fee for two or three years. So there is no one year we get you here and all of a sudden the next year we check the number up. But we want to, so we want to give whoever comes in knows they have a couple of years to build on and the number won't change. That's a different story, but this is sort of like we need a police monitor to see annually go through and check to see how we're doing. Okay, so you're saying that there should be a three-year... Uh, that'll be, that will not be part of this document here. Okay, that'll be, that'll then, be part of the fee structure. Okay, then I think that that should... Again, Unless I'm... When, again, what? most of these policies, they do ask that you have a predetermined number of years that you go back and you make a hard look. Not every year, because you sort of get wrapped into, and the three years is based on the we're going to be reviewing it. We hopefully we can get people to sign on for three years. Prior to those three years, we look at it and make any adjustments. So, could you simply, to the second bullet, add increase accountability for field user fees charged to be reviewed and adjusted every three years? Does that sound that, that sounds very good? Okay. Thank you. So, and, and is there part of this to bring our users involved to be part of the process? I don't understand that portion. Well, I bring the taxpayers in, the other people that not they, just us. If they want, if they want to be involved, they have either two choices: they can join the committee, or they can come to the meetings and they can voice their opinion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's, that's what we're all doing. Yeah. And, okay. And we're just voicing our opinions on this too, because it may just be shut down by the slide manager to go back to the other one. Bottom line to number two. Consolidated. Yeah, she, had, she, had, she only used part of it. Because it rises just every three years. Okay. Yeah. Field use. Do we need to have a better meeting in September? We don't have to. We don't have to have meetings whenever we want to. We're, we're not required by law to have it, but it would be nice to get together again soon because I missed you guys so. I just want to have a happy meeting. <laughs> I, I do. I will wait for the camera to go off before I comment to that. So, okay. would, it, would it be helpful if I looked into a calendar? Yes or no? Yes. 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 One, yes. Uh, talk to Celine. Celine knows a community that has a, a software, okay. and you can look at that software, and they will love okay. to. Love to. Right. They have. It. I don't know if it's what would suit our needs. But yeah, it's a start. Would it be helpful if I reach out to past students who may have paving companies to see if they can donate time and materials? We'd love it. Okay. Because it will take right. our projected sixty thousand dollar budget for a basketball court because of is all the work that's going to be done. Is the town allowed to do that? Like I don't know. And that's what I'm going to ask you, David. Would you go talk to them and see what we're allowed and what we're not allowed? Okay. Allowed. okay. That, that, I would say before you go there, okay. wait to hear from him. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, we have six minutes. Let's see if we can knock up a couple of these okay. things quick because um, I want to make sure. Is this good to go? No. Okay. No. I'm not, we're not voting on it. We'll just, everybody's got the copies. Let's review it. We'll talk to the next meeting and make sure we're good. Okay. Deal House policy update. Uh, yes. Uh, I talked to. No, that's the Deal House itself. I'm not, this is oh, policy okay. update. But the same point, if you've got enough to get on the house, do I do. I do. In 15 seconds or less? Less. Um, I talked to Sam. Sam that said he's going to walk over tomorrow and it should be okay. That he's going to sign off and everything is good. He's just so we got to get to work on this thing. He's going to do it tomorrow. And cool. Everything is good. There's a couple things and he thinks they're taken care of. So, so then the other question is, oh, I won't go. Okay. All right. So the policy procedure manual for the Central Street Fieldhouse, Mark said to out. And this is just a revision, not a revision, I think. Um, Few uh, grammatical changes from the last one we had before that we sent out. I sent out what back in February. I think the only thing I have is uh, back in February. Why, why we, I'm sorry, I'm still hung up on comfort stations. Can we not say restrooms? Sure. I mean, I don't, I'm just my opinion, but the only change that I have is I use it as comfort. All right, so restrooms and change comfort stations to restrooms. 
And I'm concerned a little bit about your bullet below. If Triton needs to offer GPS each pay 200 per season and generate 1,200 in revenue cost, is $300 for a septic pump enough? Okay, we, again, we had budgeted a significant amount, so about 600 a year. Whether we need that or not, I don't know. But the idea, instead of having them pay for outhouses, which they are currently doing, we can charge them less money, which saves them, and then and just have this as that fee, so that we can sort of put towards the um, septic use. It's, it's, just, it's an that, added on fee, because then, they're the primary users. Instead of asking them to put a nickel in or a quarter in, it's actually the prim not. Pri primary users get to pay a little bit more because they're going to have more access to it than anybody else. That's all. It actually would be a thousand dollars, not twelve, because Triton Hills Lacrosse only has one season, not two. Okay. So soccer and GPS would pay okay. two. So four hundred, four hundred each, and then lacrosse is a thousand. Just as I'm going through, the only things I saw in here, and I'm going, I, I think I a couple on the first page, when the fields are closed, bathrooms may be closed. I would think the bathrooms also will be closed. I just the word may help. Because if the fields aren't open, if, if we're not doing it, the fields are closed, why are the bathrooms closed? Not, why are the bathrooms open? Right. I know in Newburgh Court at the track, if, if, there's, if there's not something going on, then that, they're locked. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the zero on the side was. I presume it's a typo, but no big deal. Teams ranked in the field will be charged a flat fee. I just put a D to and charged it. Okay. No biggie. Um, down the events on letter B, they must supply an adequate number of porta potties determined by the number of estimated field permits. Yeah, just more of a typo. Um, section 2. Field and house and concessionary. Every effort will be made to have concessionaries open on weekends. Who's doing this? Has this been decided yet? Well, I thought we were having a third party. I thought we were having third, a third, third party, party too. Well, it, right now it has to be an RFP. And when I asked for help from the town, they said we, we, I asked them to check into Georgetown because they, at, a, at American Legion Field, the ice cream place uh, had to stand. And I was seeing if, if somebody in town could get that information. And they said, we, we, can't do that. So we're sort of stuck. I'm stuck. Which means we can't, we can't have an outside company do it? Well, we have to get an RFP. If anybody wants to write up a blank RFP, I could. It's going to take a while. You could. Yeah, I would love to. That's why I wanted to just take what I was already used, use the same language. So it would just but, be on the weekends? And no, we, we get during the, we, if, if, if they're down at the field during the day, evening, the question is who's going to do the field? If we don't do it, we have to an RFP it out to get someone else to do it. Or, or, or as I mentioned in there, until such time an RFP goes out, we reserve the right, but try, uh, soccer or lacrosse can run it on the weekends. So they have to run their own. Yeah, they bring their own. have to be open more than just the weekends. Well, well, we can open whatever we are. Let me, can I? Is there access in, to the bathroom? If yes, it's not yes, open. yes. There's two yeah. sections. The okay. yeah. bathroom is, all, is, for lack of a term, always open. The community center can be closed off from so the bathroom will be locked when, so the bathrooms will be open all night long? No. No. no, no, no. Okay. No. The but bathroom, if, if we don't have anybody using the community or, or the concessionary, those two doors will be locked and okay. unaccessible. The bathroom will be only open during the time that they're on the field. And who opens those doors? I presume the DPW. The DPW police, we can okay. figure that out. But yeah. that's, that's a minutia. We, we have an open building yet, so we don't know what we're doing yet. So. Right. In that regards. Can I ask, gentlemen, and I'm not excluding Stefano because he's not here, would you have any interest in running a concession stand for your own things for a league to generate revenue for yourself? Yeah, I will look into it. Okay. I'm not sure exact times, but I will ask the question. Can they do even their off season? Well, that's something that we would, we would determine. Um, I'm just saying, if you guys have a, if you've got an appetite for it and it helps generate revenue, use it. Do what you can with it, and as long as you clean it up, that's we'd love yeah. to have it. In the proposal, all I do is you guys make the money. We want it. In the proposal, it was priority to be given to the current permit holders. Then, if they did not want to use a particular weekend, I think it was a school group, mm -hmm. whether PTA, PTO, um, other group, could use it. And then a third group would be other town friends of 
the library could run it. Something that somebody would take accountability. Or the senior, the senior whomever senior. could all use it and if do, if, if, if any, do we need an RFP for any one of those groups? Because there, I don't believe so. I will double check. I just want to make sure because if we don't need an RFP, then I certainly want to extend it to, to all the groups because That's why we have a resource we want you guys to enjoy and take advantage of and help your organization. Okay. That's the only reason I have that. And then uh, payment is required. Only payment by check is accepted. We don't do credit cards or... And all that stuff, it's going to come in the office. It's a straight check. There's a surcharge to okay. the yeah. I was okay. more asking than anything. And then soft wants to reserve indoor area for registration or no fee for recreational teams. So if they want to go and use the thing like you were talking about, I'm so, fine with that. Yeah. I don't have a problem if it would, would my corrections unless anybody else has to Can I that. keep a copy of that and I can make those directly? It's all out of it. Did you have I don't think I had that time. Um, so I had a couple. Add two or Section three. two. It says, unless otherwise posted. Otherwise posted. Okay. I was distracted during this. I apologize. Sean was going to tell me. Charging a fee to use the bathrooms. 
but when we switch to per hour, no, they're going to the Right now we don't have the street drivers, so they have to uh, port oh, potties. Okay. I'm saying when we have, when they're allowed to use it the way this is set up, is to charge them the $200 or 250 whatever, mm -hmm. so that they don't have to pay for porta potties. Right. Yeah. If they have to. It's got to be one or the yeah. other. We, yeah. Right, so we might be able to prorate, but we would have to put in, we would, I would suggest that we put in a handicap porta potty. Yes. So, yeah. okay. so that would be That's the only one we want to keep them because the bathrooms aren't out there. They're accessible. Well, they are accessible. I would need them. What's that? So when the building's closed, there's a bathroom available for people. Yeah, that would be the port potty. That's the one that's out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it's, and it's attached to a porta potty, so it's not, the world's not going to happen. Yeah. So, All right, so as soon as we get, this, the no, next the next meeting, as soon as we get the occupancy, then we'll tag this and we'll have an idea to, get to bring it over them anyway. So everybody take the last look through. Mark, you've got mine. So yeah. why not, why not, why not, why not, why not get another one? I didn't, I didn't see this. I haven't read through it. I didn't see it. Have fun. Okay. Right now? No. No. Okay. By, the next, by the next meeting. Perfect. Here's your homework. I'll oh, send, easy. I'll make the changes here. And then and just send that back out. Yeah. So why don't you hold off until he comes back, unless you okay. get it done sooner. Where, well, when are you waiting? If she sees any glaring errors, yeah. she should let yeah. me know before he sends it. Yeah, because that'd be better. Okay. Then How about it. this? Can I do what I, I have? Yeah. Send it to Mariah for edits and proof, yeah. okay. and then gets kicked back. And then we're to the ready to go. Okay. That's good. Okay. So. Um, flag football. Can I talk about flag? You flag football. Do we have any with it anymore? It was I on the. All right, I'm taking that off the list. No, we have to talk, you know, what are we doing with Seacoast? Who's out there now? I don't know. Trading to you. Football. Or trading now. Flat football. So that's Seacoast. Yes. They're on the field? They were on the field. When I was on the other hand. Oh, really? Do we have an application for them? How do we go about it? Um, I'll, I'll stop by and check in with them and I get, get some questions answered. I mean, I have their old application. Okay. Uh, cool. Do we want to keep going through this? Yeah, we'll see if I'm not sure to get my main. Or just so. do the rest at the next one? No, let's do this. Let's, well, this is the last one because the other two on the back side, we can't do the things with GPS because Stephanie's not here. So we're gonna make, I'm going to make sure I invite him to the next meeting. Um, just so we can clarify his questions. Because he, he asked for one of them. He asked about the, the refund, and we need to know about the clinic, and we also need to know about the group that was on the field. So, Basel Court, uh, Central Street, the capital planning proposal. Has anybody done anything with it? And if not, if someone wants to get me, let's talk at the next meeting, because I'm going to actually draw up an outline of what we, what we need to do and put something together, and then we can just butcher it and meet and kind of depart the meeting. Yeah, I don't mind doing it. I just, I mean, because it's only going to be about three or four slides. And that's all we want to keep it. We don't even need that. I don't yes. It's just a one one page document. Okay. So if if I can get the numbers and the breakdown that I you want that thing that I made? If once? you cut that, that's perfect. And then and I'll put it together and I'll have it for the next meeting. Next meeting, as Celine just said, we don't meet again. Our next scheduled meeting would be the first of October. We meet the first Monday of the month, usually. But of course with the vacations and everything's cool care to care. Um I'm out, I can't do the next three Mondays. I'm on all three of them. And the fourth one is, is the first. So we either choose a different day during the week, uh, the week of the 20th. Um, the 25th, the 26th would work, at least for me. I don't know anybody else. I know it's standing up to open house the week before, that's why I laid off. But anybody okay? Did you say no on the 25th? No, on the 25th. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, September 25th, I'm okay. It was October 25th. So September 25th or 26th are either days available. What day of the week is that? Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, Wednesdays, uh, I can't do it. All right, so now we're looking at the 25th of September. Okay. All right, before I say that, let me do go back to the website because I don't want to screw this up okay. again. I'm going to find out one second. I'm to check the town so website. Should we move the October meeting back a week? Yeah, that's what I'm, well, from the first there, and then we'll just reschedule yeah. that. I want to check just to make sure to see what the calendar has got for 
Town Yeah, I'm on the 25th right now. Is it Tuesday? Isn't that when the board is flipping? Bingo, 7 o'clock. That's all. With to me 5.30 to 7 and be out of here, really attendance of. We couldn't have one of those other. We could use the kitchen. Right yeah. yeah, they just, that's why they're doing this. That's why I got to screw up from the end of the day, because I thought they said no, this was the only one we had access to. So, well, we I mean, the, I could do 5.30 to 7, but I don't, I mean, I have more schedules, so I don't know how that works. Anybody else work, five, it's 5.30 to, well, I can do five. technically 5.30 to 6.50. Is what it's going to turn into because well, we got to get because it's an extra meeting, and so it's better to meet even even if it's a short meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, one, one then rather than yep. yeah. 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 All right. So if I put in for the twenty fifth from five thirty to seven in yeah. here, are we good? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'll put it in after when I get home tonight. So then, are we going to switch to October? Yes. We'll bump, we'll bump that back a little bit. If we okay. Because that's the week before. That's the following week. Yeah. yeah. So October 9th is going to be another board of selection meeting. And it's also right after the Columbus Day weekend. If you do it before, and this, at the 25th meeting, pick two items like we did before. The vote on two, the two things, and just that's it. It, it should should go pretty and the other stuff. Depends which two of those are. Well. It could get interesting real quick. Then nice. you want to keep October 1st? Or what you're yeah, let's just keep it. So and it's which like. Which is October 1st at? Uh, we hadn't, hadn't scheduled yet, so but usually those are 6 to 7.30. We've moved that to the early times now. Can you do the first? I think so. Of what, October? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have one, uh, so it'd be like the next week? We're going to yeah, like Tuesday to the following Monday. Okay. Because the fall, because eat is Columbus Day, so that's out. So yeah, sure. I can't do the 15th, and I can't do the 22nd. So we're back to either Tuesday, Wednesday. Sorry, Mondays are crazy. So it's on Monday. Out. It's gonna be October 2nd. No, it's gonna be October 1st, which is Monday. Okay. Yes. On the website, I'm gonna check real quick again to make sure that. So we can discuss by email what we want to discuss at the meeting. That's yes, the agenda, a, the agenda, the agenda for growth. Mm -hmm. There is nothing on October 1st, so we're good that day. Okay, awesome. At what time? 6, six, six to 7 30. I'm going to book them both tonight as well as um, we'll keep the agenda pretty light for the, pretty light for, for the next couple, so we're going to need to go through, but uh, definitely for the next one because the board meets after. So let's look at the fee. Let's look at the basketball court. Um, and this. Let's, let's skip the fee. Let's finish the field house. Okay, field and, then, house. and the basketball court. The basketball court. And let's whatever the Mariah comes up with the calendar. Well, okay. can we just yeah. get this? That's the fee one schedule thing. is different than um, the policy. The we're talking the field house, is what we're talking about, the one that's the other document. Three, two documents. One is the field house. Yep. The so second one, one is the cost recovery policy and fee for. That's a proposal. But the other, you know, just a, the first two pages, the first page of it. If we can get, if we can and get, we can get that into the legal department to, to go through. And that's you're talking about the one that you came up with. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's what you want to go right, over. Right. So if we do, we do those, those two together. documents. And then the basketball, and we're done. And if you have any updates on the other thing, we'll go. Okay. And basketball, should I check in with Johnson? No. Yeah. Okay. Because I want to put the proposal together and find out. Because okay. you're going to check and find out what we can do before the 25th. Is that possible? As far as um, the basketball court, what we're allowed to volunteer. Volunteer, have businesses uh, do that. If they're okay, soon just let us know. And then Brian can check up stuff. Is that a Well, let's see. That's, yeah, that's, that's legal. Legal. I think that's where it's going to, you're going to have a problem because if, if someone else does it, it's free. Can I motion uh, to close? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, do I hear any cigar second? Do I have any quick discussion? No. All those in favor? All opposed?